it's just a line in my forehead. Sunday morning full of Thailand. And you get to hang out with me all day. It's not cold, you know. Well, you know, it'd be it's, fine it's, it's, if it's I got to it's sit in a, in a tractor <laughs> or something, but I don't. Try this on. Try it on. I guarantee that's gonna go straight up my... Oh, he's taking an old man's coveralls. <laughs> got fashion. Go on, try and get him up. Come on. You need a little help? Babe. What? Let me see. <laughs> the shoulders are not the problem here. Look at that. <laughs> Quit it. Look at you. Stop. Give me a little jig. Come on. Give me a little <laughs> do 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 do. I'm a broken nail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at it. You see her? She's got your coveralls on. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you gotta be careful in coveralls though, babe. If you fart in them, the smell migrates north instead of just... make me mad today because I have my Beth Dutton coffee cup but I also have a Beth Dutton t-shirt on so he better watch himself today that's all I gotta say are you chewing on a cloud of mud so to start the morning this morning we've got to dig our start holes um, we are running, I believe, four inch laterals just across the field here, coming off of that main. It kind of weaves its way through the field. So, yeah, we've got probably about six start holes to get dug. Ben's pretty fast at it, he's already got two done, so we should be getting ready to pull here pretty soon. dug now so I'm gonna go start the quad so it's nice and toasty and ready to roll once we're done with these star holes god this thing is big Um, I pulled it out into the field just a little off from that first start hole. Ben went and grabbed the quad and the tile plow. He's gonna pull that into the field here and we're gonna survey this first run um, and then we'll get it in the ground.
run to the excavator and get those caps that I put in there. How am I supposed to carry all these? They don't fit together. You not believe in boxes around here? Okay, so you cut it. Shove that in. Shove it in? Other way, babe. Okay. Wait, let's... Just like that. It's kept. All right, now drive down, park further away than from the start hole this time, the next one. Shovel. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me and wind, but the wind makes my eyes water so much. And it's not even that windy today. It was a lot windier this morning. But I always look like I'm crying when I like come into a building in the winter because it's so cold. My eyes just water. this will work or not. If it doesn't work, we got to come out here with the excavator and like dig it up and put a cap in it. Why do you got to put a cap in it? Because if you don't put a cap in it, it'll... Uh, Hold on, let me do it If you don't put a cap in it, it will uh, suck dirt down. Just go. Very good. Might just. Ugh. I think we'll come dig that one anyways later when we're done. Yeah, way later when I'm not here. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Next run. Ready? Good. Am I going just as far? Front of your truck at the grass. Okay. Still don't understand how that first one came out. Mm -hmm. All right. Where's Lemmy? Snoozing. Get in here, big booty Judy. Okay. 
So here's what you gotta do. It's already in install mode because I've put it into the start hole. So when I tell you to hit stop install towards the end of the run, you see the red stop install? Okay, when that hat gets done, there's gonna be two arrows right here after you hit stop install. You're gonna hit the top one. And that's gonna pitch the plow up and bring it up out of the ground, okay? So now you see this dialog box in the bottom? Okay, that says feeder on, feeder off, plow up, plow down, float on, float off. So after you get the plow pitched up out of the ground, we're gonna turn the float off and push the plow up, okay? You, you follow me? All right, throttle's where your hand is. You don't need to really give it much. You can give it a little bit. Right now? Yeah, you can give it a little bit right now. Just until you hear it start to give a little more juice. There you go, okay? Now put the clutch in. Now if there, I say stop at any point, you hit the clutch. All right, put the middle right, middle pedal, bring the steering wheel towards you. Middle one. Just, you gotta push it, hold on, hold on. Like, you gotta push it, the pedal down first, and you're gonna just break the steering wheel. Okay, push the clutch in. All right, this is your toggle. Put it into forward, keep the clutch in. You see the line up here in front of you? All right, put it into forward, okay. Now what you're gonna do is put the feeder on, turn the feeder on. There you go. Now you see your feeder spinning back there? All right. Now you're gonna let out on the clutch very easily and slow and smooth. Keep going, let her out, let her out. There you go, all the way out. Let it all the way out. Okay. Yep, you see that silver knob on the front? Yep, that's what you're going to hang out with. Okay, so then you look over there, you make sure everything's doing good, you're doing good. Okay, give it a little more throttle. There you go. Now she's healthy. There you go, you've installed 100 feet. <laughs> Okay, so once we get there, we're gonna see that tile go through the back. You can look backwards, you don't have to, it's not gonna veer off the road. It'll hold itself pretty straight there. So once the tile goes through, you see where the number's counting up, where it says distance there in the bottom right-hand corner? Yep, so we're gonna add 10 to that real fast, and then we'll hit the stop install. Add the extra 10 feet? Add the extra 10 feet. And I just look at the last number, so like now it's a two, I just look until I see two again. Okay. You know, you, well, you see what I mean? Yeah. Instead of trying to think, okay, I gotta add 10 oh, feet okay. to this. <laughs> yeah, no, you just see it and wait until you see two again. Or, okay. So when it goes through? Once you see it go it past. Just... All right, now what we're gonna do is we're also gonna turn the quad just this way just a little bit. Okay. So that'll let it pull that way. And it'll give us a little more room before we end up in the, hit the feeder off, hit, hit the feeder off, okay? Hit the feeder back on. Okay, add 10. Oh, easy, easy. Add 10. Two. Okay. Stop install. Hit the up arrow. Hit the up arrow. Up arrow. Hold it. Hold it. Hold the up arrow. Tell me how to hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Now turn your float off. Plow up. There you go. You just installed 351 feet. Just like that. Hit the clutch. All the way in. Put it in park. So we actually had more tile than we thought. So Ben is going to dig another hole and we're gonna add one more run to this. Um, well, yeah, we thought we might be done, but we can do a little bit more, so might as well. If you got it, might as well use it, right?
we got eight runs of four inch laterals pulled through. Um, we actually had the perfect amount of pipe. We thought we only had enough to do seven runs, but we had just enough on the cart to literally do like the perfect length for one more. So we actually got eight. So now we're gonna work on the connections for all these laterals that we pulled, um, connecting them back into the main. Um, yeah, make all eight connections. And is gonna go put the bucket on the Kubota so that we can start backfilling these after we make the connections and then rototilling down the line um, just to kind of suit smooth it back out a little bit we're not going to show you all eight times that we have to do that um one that would take forever and two um i actually got to wrap it up because i play in a volleyball league at a local church on sunday afternoons um and we are pushing time for me to get there on time let's go so since we don't have a tap tee or we're not tapping these I'd just be able to drill a hole into the side of it, connect it, and we're out of there. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. The way you should do it. Um, Why aren't we doing that? Because the sizes of the pipe are where you can't. Like that's only a five inch, and I'm putting a five and a four into a five. So instead, you gotta do this number, which it, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but. I'd rather do it the other way. Let me take five to four T, okay. like so. Put it here where we're gonna want it. Make our first cut. You can always cut more off. It's a good velocity. Some people use uh, like big, like guillotines, like and they go shoot. <laughs> they make that noise too. And this pipe is he likes you. Bless out. Hey, there's a little moisture in that. I can't believe that. Got that one. that installed cool that's pretty easy huh so that seems pretty easy anyway Seven more times. Huh? Seven more times. So I guess I forgot to do an outro on that video, but I guess I'll take that as a good opportunity to update you guys on the puppies. Oh! <laughs> These guys are four weeks old now. Say hi. We say hi. They're four weeks old. They're ornery. They're starting to run around and play. Starting to eat real food. Even though they still like mama. Right, mama. This guy's getting real, real cool looking. He's got two blue eyes. He's real ornery. He likes to start a lot of fights. He'll be a fun one. Right. Are you over this? <laughs> this little girl, she found her forever home already. She's got one blue eye. She's so pretty. Aren't you? She's a sweet baby, but she got a set of lungs on her. Don't ya? This guy right here, he's just a ham. I can't even get him off. Look at this chunky boy. He just looks like a little tiny chocolate lab. He's so handsome. Don't ya? He needs a boy. You just want to eat all the food. Mama's mini-me. She's just a little sweetie pie. She just goes with the flow. Very much like her mother. Aren't ya? Yeah, you're just Lola 2.0. So yeah, we've got one puppy that's found a forever home, but we still got three that are looking. So if you or anybody that you know might be interested in a puppy, shoot an email to the email in the description below, and we can talk about 
puppies. They are mini golden doodles. Be maybe 20 pounds. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the way out. Like, subscribe, all that good jazz. And we will see you on the next one. I don't have a hat, so I'll just like flip my hair. So we just had uh, something interesting. The end cap flew out. That's the first time I've ever had that. Seems like it's cold out here today, but not when you're sitting next to this smoking hot lady in overalls. Get on out. Get on out here. Look at this.